Okay, so yesterday we showed you how to run the Mark 350 vaporizer with a inverter and a vehicle. Today we're going to show you how to do the same thing again, but without the vehicle. For whatever reason, you couldn't get your vehicle to your hives, so just pull the battery and bring the battery to the hives. Hook up the converter as you would and turn it on. And just as before, it will start drawing power. Not as much power because, of course, it's not hooked up to the vehicle, but it's drawing enough power and it will convert that to 110 volts to operate the Mark 350. Over here, we got the Mark 350 and we'll go ahead and turn it on and let it start warming up. going through his checks and starting to warm up now we're going to treat this double deep hive today and because it's two brood boxes we're going to use uh, a half teaspoon of oxalic acid which is right back there we got the cap all set up we're not going to show a demo today like we did yesterday. You can view yesterday's video to see how it operates when it's not in the hive. And once it gets up to temperature, we'll put the, uh, the uh, cap and onto the uh, Mark 350 and get it into the hive and get them vaporized with the oxalic acid. Now back here, just like yesterday, We've gone and we've put duct tape on the uh, ventilation holes to uh, keep the oxalic acid inside. Okay, so the Mark 350 is up to temperature. We'll go ahead and get it loaded and get the uh, hive vaporized. Just like yesterday, we've put a piece of coroplast in there so that the uh, vapor doesn't get out of the bottom of the screen bottom board. All right, so we got the Mark 350 loaded at this point, and we'll go ahead and flip it over, and we'll put it in this hive. And again, this is all being run off just the battery and the inverter, and we'll get that hive oxalic acid vaporized. Okay, we got that started. You can see a little bit of uh, vapor escaping. And once it gets completed, we'll open it up and we'll take it out. All right, so we do this later on in the day, like now it's 7.30 Eastern time, but we do that this time of day so that most of the bees have returned because we're trying to, uh, to <coughs> maximize the return by the getting oxalic acid on as many bees as possible. Okay, so it's all done. Take this out, get it shut off. And that hive has been treated and they're good to go till the next treatment. Again, this was all done without a vehicle, just the battery and the inverter. Good luck with your bees and talk to you later.